Hello, it is Matt and Tara from Fresh Mornings with Lance Chilton of the Chilton Team. Check them out, the hey Chilton Team. Dot com. Lance, want to talk uh, really about how the October went yeah. uh, for the market? Well, you know, um, the market in general is returning to, to being more balanced, right? Spring, as we've spoken about, was just crazy. In October, sales were actually down from October of last year. The number of new listings in the marketplace was up, so there were fewer buyers and more supply. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? That, okay. That's returning to a balanced market, which is the healthiest thing for everybody. The good news is that values are up. So okay. if you have a house in Barrie, it is worth more than it was this time last year. And that's the most most important thing to bear in mind. So let's do, let's clear this myth up right now as we head into the holidays. I actually moved two days before Christmas. <laughs> People move <laughs> over the holidays. But you're crazy. I was not seeing that. I am not denying it. But yeah. you know what? You find the house you love. It's not a terrible time to move. It, no, it's not. Yeah. You know, there, there's lots of good reasons to be in the market at this time of year. You know, sellers are motivated. Mm -hmm. um, they they're moving because often they've bought something, or they're changing cities. Um, everyone's less busy. Realtors are less busy. Tradespeople are less busy. Movers are less busy, and therefore hopefully less expensive. So there's mm -hmm. and and it does tend to be a market that favors more buyers simply because there are fewer people in the market. Like spring is busy no matter what mm -hmm. because it's driven by families. Fewer families want to move in, in this time of year because of the school year. So so lots of empty nesters, mm -hmm. uh, single folks, uh, professional couples, they'll they'll be moving this time of year. Um, but that's a smaller number of people than you'll see in spring when all the families go. Mm -hmm. They all want to be in the new school district by you know July yeah. 30th. So this isn't necessarily a time of year where real estate agents kind of go, whew, I'm off for a month or so. This is can be No, no, busy. you know what? The past yeah. few weeks we've been really, really busy yeah. and, and, and we're still putting new homes in the market. Um, what we do actually is is when the, the leaves are still on the, on the trees and the grass is still green, we, we go and we photograph our clients' homes ahead of time. And we're putting homes in the market this week, next week, and even into January and February. And we've already got all that done. So people will know what the homes look like uh, when the grass is up. So there's no impediment. You know, you can't say, what's the yard going to look like? Because we've got that covered. Now, of course, nobody can predict the future of the market. But with analyzing some trends, you can kind of see the way things are, are kind of going. Yes, we can sort of predict the future because yeah. we're magic people. Nice. Yes. No, we can't. We can't actually predict the future. Mortgage rules are changing. Yeah. Right. So it, it's it's going to protect all consumers mm -hmm. because it's going to be uh, a little bit more difficult to get money. But you know, if you couldn't afford that half million dollar home today in the current mortgage climate, then you really can't afford it after the rules change. Mm -hmm. Not a great deal is changing. Um, but that is driving the market right now. People do want to get in um, while things are a little bit easier to deal with mortgage-wise. Mm -hmm. Next year we're predicting the kind of year, and I'll be proven wrong on this in a few months <laughs> I'm sure, but we're predicting the kind of year that the, the local real estate market has had for pretty much the past decade. You yeah. know, a balanced market, steady increase in values, um, properties on the market 30 to 60 days depending on the price point. Okay, so if you want to sell your Back home for the holidays, go get it. I know what you know about normal. Yeah, yeah I know. It is normal, really. Uh, so if you want not to, him. Not yeah, him. Not no, him. not him. If you want to sell your home for the holidays, find a new home for the holidays, chill the team with people to ask about it. Uh, they've got answers to all your questions at thechillteam.com. And we can see the future. <laughs> <laughs>